do you have an individual herb and or way to deal with supplements that may help me get over the constant viruses that I have. Well, when a person has constant viruses, it's generally an indication that they may have a systemic microbe in their body. Systemic microbes are often in our body because we've had root canals. If you know what a root canal is correcting, or purportedly correcting, it's when you've allowed the decay of the tooth to become so rampant that it now rots the root system. The remedy in mainstream dentistry is a little silly. They go in within a matter of a minute or two, drill a hole down into your root system, slot some so-called disinfectant on that area, and within a matter of a few more minutes, fill that up and then make sure that you have something that looks or appears like a tooth. What we've literally done is we've closed up the infection that's not only right at the root, but is systemic. That it's either in, in the local area of the jaw and the head, and in cases where you had abscesses, probably throughout the entire body. And anyone who's had an abscess knows what I'm addressing now. When you have that root canal, you've literally now placed a body-wide, in often in many cases, infection. So now, when you have other infections, viruses, bacteria come along that you get in your environment every day, all of us, no matter what, if we stayed in the vacuum, we'd have them. If you're already contagious with it, you're going to be a great subject for those microbes to get in and take up household in. This may be the first thing. Number two, your immune system has been weakened because you have this body-wide or local infection that's been there many times for years. Not weeks and months, but years or decades. How many of you listening today have had root canals? And when I ask people, which I do constantly, have you not had sensitivity in that area since you've had the root canal? Almost everyone says yes. And then the second question is, how many years or decades have you had it? Many people tell me 30 years, 40 years. That means for 40 years, part of your immune system has been compromised. And so, of course, you're going to pick up colds easier than the average person. Also, you'd pick up more serious uh, retroviruses. Again, such as what? Chronic fatigue syndrome, which is Epstein-Barr virus, or even AIDS. Why is it some people... Uh, are in touch with the AIDS virus, the HIV, and they do not contract it and others do. It's all about immunity, people. And that's how you're going to take care of it. Is there any one supplement that you're going to take for that? And let's go back and talk about salesmanship and propaganda versus reality. Out throughout the world, people think echinacea is the best thing to have if you have an infection or cold. Number one, echinacea does not help you once you've contracted a, a microbe. It's that simple. After you have a cold, there is no evidence, and I will assure you, it's, there's no way it helps you after you have that cold, after you have that flu. When it is good is when you're in an environment where you know there's infected people. Your children come home from school with a cold, at your office or workplace, people are sneezing. That's when echinacea may help to boost T cells and B cells in the blood in the immune system and help to prevent that cold from touching you deeply. After you contract something such as this, there's a wonderful herb on the market that you can take called OSHA, O S H A, and you can get this in most health stores, providing you're not in those countries that have already been uh, under the thumb of the Codex. Next, you also can take, for short term, silver nitrate. And the best forms are microscopic forms, or what we call uh, structurally manipulated forms, small forms. Uh, there's one we use constantly here in America called sovereign silver. But what you have to understand is that taking silver nitrate, which was the original antibiotic before the pharmaceuticals made antibiotics, 
uh, is that you don't want to take this heavy metal for long term in high amounts because it's not something that's good for you. Short term, for something like a cold or a flu, it's quite good for you. So that's what you should be looking at. I'm not cutting for a minute,